Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and in this video I'll be looking at the R9 CarPlay rearview mirror and dash cam from Coral Vision. This is one of the first rearview mirror dash cams that also features integrated wireless Apple CarPlay and also Android Auto on its 11 inch display. Inside there is a Sony CMOS sensor for up to 4K video recording with a high dynamic range for clear night recording and a viewing angle of 160 degrees. This display features FM audio transmission to pass sound from content on the display, as well as audio from Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to your car speakers via the car's FM radio. In the box you get a paper instruction manual, a quality control certificate and tips on connecting to the display. There is the R9 dash cam mirror itself, two rubber attachments to fix the mirror over your existing rear view mirror, and a long 12 volt socket to USB-C cable to power the display. There's also a bundled rear view camera and power cable to attach to the rear of your vehicle, and it sends its rear footage straight to the R9's display too. Looking over the R9 mirror then, its size certainly is bigger than your average rear view mirror. And it's 11 inch size gives a big enough real estate to not only give you a better mirror experience than your existing one, but it also makes interacting with its touchscreen display way much easier whilst browsing the dash cam recordings to interacting with the Apple CarPlay and Android interfaces. Behind the R9, you'll see how it attaches to your existing mirror via these four hook loop points that span the top and bottom edges, which you attach these simple rubber bands onto. And on either side of its logo, there are two speakers. And on the bottom, there is a single function button to turn the display on and off. On the top of the mirror, there is a USB-C input port to connect the power cable into. There's an AV jack port for the bundled rear camera to connect into. There is a TF card slot in the middle to save recorded videos and photos onto. And finally, there is a port for an optional GPS module. So with all the external features covered, I jumped into my VW Golf GTI Mark 7 to install and test the R9. Installation was very simple. For a very wide rear view mirror, you do have to slide the dash cam part out from the side so it fits around the side of the mirror it is mounting onto. Then you attach the rubber bands to the top hooks on the back of the R9. I placed the smart mirror over my existing mirror and, and fed my rubber bands over the back of it and hooked them back onto the bottom hooks underneath the R9. I then connected the USB-C end to the power cable of the R9 and the other end to the 12 volt power socket. The remaining cable was ample in length if you have time to spend feeding it around the top of the windscreen and down into your car interior for a much cleaner cable install. Turning the ignition on my Golf, the 12 volt socket can supply power to the R9 mirror, which soon comes alive. Boot up time took around 14 seconds, and after a short splash screen, the display shows a split screen view with a menu on the left hand side and a dash cameras view on the right. For right hand drivers, there is an update file they can supply you so you can have the menu screen swapped over so it's nearer to you. Selecting the settings option from the main menu is where I was able to change and customize the R9 to my preferences. From setting date and time, volume level, display brightness and dash cam resolution, to loop recording length, reverse camera line display and language. There were plenty of options here to tailor how the mirror functions and how it looks. Returning back to the main menu, there are options to view help, view videos and photos captured from your built-in dash camera, launch CarPlay and Android Auto and enable and adjust the FM audio transmitter. Coral Vision has chosen to cast audio from either its internal speakers or via the FM transmission from the R9 mirror to your FM radio in your car. Sadly, there's no AUX or Bluetooth audio output. From the FM option, here you get to select the country where you're in and dial in a frequency either manually or select from some of the five frequency presets. With the same FM frequency entered into both the R9 and my car's FM stereo, audio is soon being transmitted to my car speakers. The quality is okay, but it isn't the best transmission I've heard, with a slight loss in overall quality. But it is certainly listenable, considering you don't have to worry about any cables to your stereo. A Bluetooth audio option would be desirable if there were to be potentially a future update to this display. With the audio connected from the R9 to my stereo, 
I decided to launch wireless Apple CarPlay. After pairing my iPhone 13 Pro to the R9's Bluetooth profile, wireless CarPlay soon displayed from my iPhone onto the mirror display within 25 seconds. I found having CarPlay high up on a rear view mirror was kind of cool, yet very strange seeing CarPlay presented on half of the 11 inch mirror display. Its display, unfortunately, can't be expanded to the full width of the mirror. Its maker did test this, but they found that the experience was to be quite poor during navigation mode. But I think this option should have been left in the settings menu to give us that option to at least try it. Once in CarPlay, everything looked good and the touchscreen was responsive. Although with a smaller display, it can sometimes require some attention to avoid mispresses of much smaller UI within certain apps. Wireless lag of around one to two seconds was still present here. And I did a quick audio test, which I thought sounded okay. Hi, this is Anthony from carplaylive.com and this is an audio test using the Coral Vision R9 CarPlay rear view mirror. And this is an audio test. Seeing where the microphones are, quite not quite sure where they actually are. Just gonna to touch around certain areas to see where it actually might be recording. And this is an audio test. And the recording was being picked up by my microphone that's located in the bottom part of the mirror. Without a system to rely on its overall boot up, pairing time still took 52 seconds to get to the Apple CarPlay screen, which is a little long, but not too long to become annoying. Launching into Android Auto took 13 seconds from Bluetooth pairing. Like CarPlay, once you're into the platform, everything works as intended with Android Auto displaying in its full screen mode. I tried calling through Android Auto and calls came through Android Auto on the mirror display and sound came through my car speakers just fine. And the microphone on the display picked me up well enough with just a minor delay in the audio. This R9 Magic Mirror from Coral Vision retails for $299 directly from their online store. And you can also get it on Amazon UK for £255. And I'll link to those stores down below so you can learn more about this R9 One Smart Mirror and to buy yourself one. I found the R9 to be a decent alternative to getting Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in any car with an FM stereo. You don't necessarily have to use the FM audio transmission, but if you want to use it for anything more than calls, or turn by turn directions, the internal speaker inside isn't good enough to really enjoy the playback of music or audio in app. I do have some concerns with the R9 though, and that's its reflective nature and being harder to view the display at times, its display size and its audio options. In bright daylight, it can make the display harder to view with certain reflections being cast on the mirror display, but it is a fine balance of wanting to be able to use it still as a mirror but also see the display contents when you want to. This is less of an issue during nighttime driving, which is where the display really comes into its own. I had too many issues interacting with the UI elements. Due to CarPlay's smaller screen size, I did have issues interacting with the UI elements in CarPlay and Android Auto, which would concern me whilst using these platforms whilst driving. Without the ability to use the wheel, or remote controls to navigate these platforms. Although you can revert to using Siri or Google Assistant to operate these too, but at times I did struggle to touch smaller elements whilst driving, which overall can be more distracting and quite a bit of a hazard. And finally, I feel the FM quality could have been a little bit better and some cars without CarPlay might still have Bluetooth audio. So I think the lack of Bluetooth audio option on the R9 is such a huge missed opportunity for offering better audio than what FM and the onboard speaker can provide. I found the addition of its dash cam added a lot of extra value to what is overall a very technically complete package. The 4K video quality during the day and night was great thanks to its Sony CMOS sensor. Viewing recorded videos and photos back on the display was easy and simple. And although I couldn't view the formatted TF card or its content on my Mac, I could with a PC with playable MP4 files that show both 2K and 4K capture videos running at 24 frames per second. The R9 is a decent and quite discreet way to get CarPlay or Android Auto in your car, rather than a bigger standalone dashboard or windscreen mounted display. Its built-in dash cam makes the R9 a very feature-packed driving tech accessory for your car that breathes new life into your older vehicle with added security from the dash cam and infotainment from your mobile via CarPlay and Android Auto without the need to carry out a very expensive or very technical stereo install. 
If you'd like to see another easy way to get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in any car, you can check out this video here and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. Leave me a thumbs up to let me know that you have and jump into the comments if you have any questions about this R9 dash cam with Apple CarPlay. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.